Oh, let me. Hey, I never forget a face. Do, do I know you from somewhere? No, no, I don't think so. No, 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 no. Really, really, really. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. High school alumni newsletter. Danny, D Danny Oliver. Yeah, yeah, Danny, how you doing? Wait a minute, wait a minute. So the newsletter said you're a big time producer in LA and, and, and you, you produced all these reality shows like Great Northern Junkyards. That was nice, that was good. The Darker Side of Tanning, like that one. My favorite, my personal favorite, When Lightning Strikes. Did that guy really get hit five times and survived? Yeah, well, it looks like you figured me out there, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Look, like, I'm just gonna go in and get a cup of coffee. Hey, right? Really, in here? Yeah. Hey, well, what are you doing in town? Uh, well, you know, I'm just here for a little while, but I'd really like to just get a cup of coffee All right, right now. Danny, well, let me buy you a cup. Come it's on in. It's Dirk now. Okay, Dirk, let me buy you a cup of coffee. Come on okay. in. So, you know, I don't think I've seen you since graduation. Uh, table right here. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so what have you been doing since graduation, anyway? Uh, Other than the uh, TV work and stuff. No, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I, I work a lot. Oh, uh, I know how that goes. I'll tell you. It's nice to just be able to sit down and grab a good cup of java, though, isn't it? Yeah. Actually... Well, you know, they got a big band tonight, I tell you. They only book quality acts here, so uh, we'll catch up in between sets. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. I can't believe how packed the cafe is. Yeah, wow. well, you know, when the Clark family's Jeez. here, they always pack the place out. And yeah, <laughs> I, I see my buddy, Jay Morris, is here. Yeah. You know, he used to be a cage fighter. Did I, did I ever tell you that? Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's cool, because I know. Paying attention to detail was important to building things that last. At Omega Home Improvements, we believe that your siding deserves that same attention to detail so it too is built to last. We specialize in a foam back insulated panel that features five times the energy efficiency and is four and a half feet longer than other panels used on homes today. We're Omega Home Improvements, doing it right from beginning to end. At s and Bank, we've got a new account for people with busy lives. It's called the Preferred Account, and it's full of everything you need and none of what you don't, like free anywhere ATM transactions. So you never have to make a special stop to save a fee. The Preferred Account at s and Bank, it's your life. We just made it a little easier. Well, I had to come because I had, just six months ago, a total hip replacement. So I needed to come for physical therapy. I took advantage of many of the things, things that I never thought I would have used to help me recover from my uh, hip replacement. And every single thing I did, each time I came, I noticed great improvements and things that you would think, how would that help you? It was amazing. Senior Care Plaza is a family-owned, long-term care residence that provides a nurturing home and a high-quality care program. If your loved one can no longer care for themselves, it's time to think about Senior Care Plaza. We call it care. You'll call it home. If you've been looking for a high-quality, top-rated personal care home with your specific needs in mind, Senior Care Plaza in McKeesport, Pennsylvania may be for you. Senior Care Plaza. So guess who was here? Uh, I don't know. It could be anybody. Okay, Ed from Kiva Han was here and he dropped off a new flavor for you. Oh, good, good. That's great. I've been waiting for him because I'm trying to get a new recipe for the summer. Oh, you could make something iced. Of course. It will be the summer. <laughs> anyway, leave all the creations up to me. Besides, you know, I am the coffee creation genius after all. <laughs> <laughs> really? Have you forgotten the cardamom disaster? I didn't forget the cardamom. Thank you very much. Now, every genius has to make his mistakes and learn from them. So why don't you experiment on finding a way to introduce the band? Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Introduce <laughs> all them. All right, all right. Everyone, please welcome Glenn Clark and the family. Yay! That was it. Hallelujah. 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 
Emmanuel, some call him Messiah, some call him Hosanna, some call him, some call him, just call him. I need you, Jesus. Big band. Yeah, that is. I'll tell you what. Uh, remind, we, it's good to see you, Danny. I'll tell you what. You remember all the great times we had in high school? Yeah, well, maybe they were great for you. <laughs> I tell you, remember the one time when, uh, oh, wait a minute, we played, the, what was that kid's name? We stuck a stink bomb in his locker and it went off, smelled up the school for like three weeks. They suspended that kid for, what was his name? Three, uh, three days he got suspended and we yeah. got out early. Yeah, I remember that. That kid's name was Danny. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Dirk now. Oh, wait. That, that was you? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> well, I mean, we all had pranks played on us every now and then, right? I mean, who did? Uh, remember that other time? Um, we took uh, the jacket in home ec class and we sewed them together and uh, the kid couldn't get him in. It was like having a straight jacket. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. I, I worked uh, part-time for three months to buy that leather jacket. Yeah, it was ruined. Wait a minute, that, that, that was you too? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. It's good to reminisce about things like this, isn't it? I mean, those were the days. Fun times. Fun times. <laughs> we got to do this more often. It's cage fighting thing. And, and I, was, I was hoping that you'd take a time away from the store, away from the gym, and, and come in. And I'm glad you did. So you got to tell me about this. You, did you actually do cage fighting? Absolutely. absolutely. I mean, you're, you're in this cage. You're beating people up for a living kind of thing. Or for fun. For fun. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get into that? I've uh, just been very competitive my whole life. I uh, wrestled in high school, uh, started doing karate when I was probably six, and uh, just uh, never got the, um, never got out of my blood. I just wanted to, uh, I guess, take it to the next level. So. And, and how far did you take it? I mean, how, were, were you good? I was pretty decent, yeah, yeah. I had uh, a good bit of uh, uh, Muay Thai matches and boxing matches and uh, jiu-jitsu submission wrestling matches and... Uh, you know, cage matches. So yeah, I, I have hundreds of uh, between wrestling and, and fighting. I have hundred hundreds of matches. 
Now, I know you and Jolene and the kids really love the Lord now, but where were you? I mean, this was just a few years ago. Where, where were you then? Uh, kind of hot and cold, kind of serving the Lord, but not really serving the Lord. And uh, just well, were uh, you like playing the game like, OK, me and Jesus are OK, but I'm going to go in there and and I'm going to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Yeah, know? pretty much. Yeah, there was, I was making uh, Jesus comfortable for me and uh, and uh, until, uh, you know, just some things in my life went downhill and I realized that, uh, you know, it was time to get, start getting serious with the Lord. So you, you had this, you had some, some kind of crisis or something. Well, was it easy for you? I mean, you're, you're used to this, this radical lifestyle of, of you know, the, the cage fighting and I'm sure the, you know, uh, partying or, or, or something went along with that, with, with that lifestyle at some point where you're out, you know, doing all kinds of stuff and, and, and then say, okay, I'm going to commit my life to Christ. Was it, was it easy to just say, okay, eek, Let's put put the brakes on. No, no, definitely not. It it took you know it took a lot of falling on my face and getting back up, uh, you know, getting to church, um, just really getting into the Word, you know, understand what what God ha you know wants from me, and uh, from that, um, you know, He just showed me a lot of things, and, and that was I mean it, it was definitely not an easy process, and uh, just just as ca cage fighting, I mean it's uh, Christianity isn't for. Uh, for wimps, you know, so I, I'll tell anyone, you know, I mean, it's harder to be a Christian than it is in a cage fighter, you know, so because you have to represent Jesus, you know. Why? Why? How do you mean that? I mean, it's it's just not about, uh, you know, you becoming with the Lord. It's, it's what are you going to do for the Lord after you, uh, you know, you, you start walking with the Lord? Are you going to, you know, lead people to the Lord? Are you going to, you know, do your part with what the Word says you're supposed to do? I mean, I, I you know, I'm not a cage fighter. I'm not a business owner. I'm Really, what's the Lord want from me? That's that's the that's the whole thing for me. So, now I, I know you know with with your businesses, with your uh, cell shops and, and things like that, you've been leading a lot of you know a lot of guys come in there a lot because of the type of business you're in. You've got a lot of folks that are hurting, broken, that are coming to see you, and and they're looking for something. And and from what I hear, you know, they're coming to know Jesus. How, how are you sharing the gospel? these people you know what God put me in this position it, you know I, I in this business that I am in it's a buy sell trade shop and um, kind of like a pawn shop but mm -hmm. um, uh, it was just one of those things that the Lord let led me into and um, from there just uh, the people that do come in there I mean they could be uh, you know on you know poor they could be high class it doesn't matter you know it, what I one thing I noticed is it doesn't matter how much money you have mm -hmm. um, but uh, people come in hurting and, and the Lord speaks to me and speaks to mm -hmm. my heart and I just kind of get to know them on a relationship wise and and I just um, I always ask me can I pray for you and I've never been rejected yet and when people leave there they're changed you know mm -hmm. it, it might be a seed planted um, or it might be a piece of fruit we can pull off and, and, and they come to the Lord then that day. But um, I've seen people um, come to the Lord a year from, you know, the time I've ever, you know, I've, t I've taken the time to talk to them. So it's, it's a pretty unique situation I'm in. So do you, do, you, do you really believe that? Jeez, that's a big smile. Did you get a big tip or something? No, I just checked my YouTube channel. 75,000 views and counting. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. Good for yes, you. Yes, and you know that can only mean one thing. It's only a matter of time before I'm discovered. I mean, the numbers don't lie. People are watching the show, and they obviously like it, so I'm saying. Okay, well, when you get discovered, don't forget about your beautiful assistant. Oh, I don't, I don't find you attractive at all. Hey, I was talking about me. <laughs> I know, I couldn't resist. <sighs> of course, I'll remember the little people. I'll remember <gasps> you, okay? But uh, first, I gotta serve this drink, so. Mm. Talk to you later. Hey, well. Okay, be quiet. Tim asked yeah. me to um, whip you guys up something special, so uh, this Thank is one you. of my personal creations, a cinnamon sugar latte, but it's not as sweet Ooh. as it sounds. Check it out. Some Marcus in my cup. Mm, mm, mm. What, you? You, you, you've seen my show. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're, 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 it's very popular what you're doing on the internet. Definitely, yeah. yeah well, Your YouTube channel, everybody's watching it. By the way, I'm Dirk. Dirk, I, Dirk I, Oliver. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, he used to be uh, Danny Oliver. I, actually, we went to high school. He's a good friend oh, of mine from oh, way back when. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah that's we, cool. we used to have the greatest times together. Oh, yeah. In fact, uh, Danny, you remember the time, sorry, Dirk, you remember the time at the uh, spring formal when uh, we put the dribble, dribble cups in, in place of the glasses? Yeah. Oh, Marcus, listen. So we put the <laughs> dribble cups there. It's red punch. And this one kid, do you remember this? This is, I mean, 
One kid goes up and grabs the dribble cup, red, red punch. He had this white tuxedo, white wow. shirt, you know, ruffles Ooh. and everything. It was, <laughs> and, and just red. It, oh, it was like a volcano all over. <laughs> That's terrible. Dude, the band had to stop because everybody was pointing and laughing so hard. Yeah, yeah, I remember oh. that. That's terrible. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> wow. Wasn't that funny? Yeah, <laughs> that shirt was ruined too. <laughs> and it cost me quite a bit of money to get that jacket dry clean. Oh, Marcus, I tell you what, those oh, were the man. best times ever. It was so great. Oh. They're worth the, uh, just, oh, we can get those times back. His place, his place. Do you know that your morning cup of coffee can help clothe, feed, rescue, and care for the poorest of the poor? I know it may seem hard to believe, but it can happen. His Place and Kiva Han Coffee have joined forces to bring a special blend of coffee that will change the world. Hope Coffee is a direct trade coffee, which means that the families of the people who work hard on the coffee farms receive the funds directly from their harvest. In addition, the profits from Hope Coffee go to help rescue children in impoverished countries and bring the message of God's love to people all around the world. For a limited time, for your gift of $37, we'll send you as our thank you a His Place mug and a 12 ounce bag of Hope Coffee. Together, we're changing the world one life at a time through one cup of coffee at a time. Send your gift today. Ready to go home today? Definitely. Let's take a look. This year, more than 27,000 children will be diagnosed with a life-threatening medical condition. You are good to go. Through the course of their treatment, many of them will miss school. Many of them will miss spending time with their family and friends. So, have you made your decision yet? Yeah, I think so. And many will simply miss being a kid. Here we go. But you can lift their spirits and give them a special kind of hope. There are thousands of wishes waiting to come true. You can make it happen. Find out how today at wish.org. So since you have so many hits now on your YouTube channel, maybe you can start filming some more episodes? Exactly. That's the plan. So I'm trying to sort out my schedule because, you know, figure out when I can do it more. I've just been working a lot of hours, so Okay, it's well, tough. anytime you need me to help, I'll be there. Yeah, I know you will. I appreciate that. But, you know, there's some things that you can't help me with, like writing this show and making recipes. Well, hey, I have to make preparations, too. Get out. You prepare for what? Well, let's see. I have to buy a new outfit, get my hair cut, do my makeup, do my manicure, pedicure. Pedicure? Nobody's going to see your feet. Well, it makes me feel good. And if I feel good, it'll add to your show. Well, when I put you on the show, I only put you on the show for a few seconds. Okay, well, now that you know all the preparations I make, can't you put me on longer? Well, this will only mean one thing. What? <laughs> I cannot let you... It's on my show. Oh, well, you leave me no choice. Hey, 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 hey. You, you've, done the, you've done the whole deal with the cage fighting. You're a successful businessman. Seems like everything you put your hands to brings great success. I mean, you're a good dad, good husband, you know, working, working all these things out. What's, what's your relationship mean to you, you know, your relationship with the Lord? My, my relationships, I mean, I take it serious with the Lord. I mean, it, it means... Um, it means everything to me. I mean, it, it allows me to be able to understand that that Christ in my life. Uh, I don't have to take all the weight that you know, all the things that I have to struggle with. You know, that I used to struggle with. You know, with trying to raise three kids and taking care of my wife and uh, just all the businesses. It's just it's just nice to know that um, I don't have to take all that burden home with me. You know, I can just leave it. And, and it's it's nice to know that um, I'm at peace with myself. You know. Do you think Do you think that God created you? I mean, the the way that the way you do all this stuff, the like I said, going back to the cage fighting days to, to now the business and and it seems like God has created you to reach people when they're going through a certain thing. It, it's like you're a fighter by nature yeah. and, and you see people in trouble and you kinda it seems like you you kinda help them to fight to get through their stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean that's I, I yeah, I mean you summed it up pretty good. I mean it seems like uh, no matter what situation I'm in 
seems like it's always a fighting situation, or no matter if it's my own personal life. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it seems like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's you know, to, mm -hmm. to me, life is a battle, and, and it's it's uh, it, it's you know, it, you're either gonna let the enemy win, or you're mm -hmm. gonna let Christ win. And so, you know, for me, I prefer that uh, in my life, Christ is number mm -hmm. one. No, I, I gotta ask you. Do you, do you, you're hanging out in the church now, and 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 things like that. Do people ever look at the tats and make judgments about who you are, what kind of person you are? Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, not to my face, but I, I'm sure you, you could see people. They they kind of look at me like, wow, you know, that's is he a Christian? Is he not mm -hmm. a Christian? And you know, and, and and so that's one thing that I mean, I, absolutely, I, I like that because it allows the people. Um, that come into the church that are new that might have tattoos or the people on the streets when i start talking about jesus that's the last thing they think that's going to come out of my mouth mm -hmm. and so it kind of they're like wow you know he, he he you know he's talking about god so maybe this is a cool thing or something i, I don't know what it is but it, it usually works for me to people listen to me and then and say wow you know mm -hmm. if, if he's talking about jesus it must be a cool thing i guess i don't know do people ever think you're too radical they say like you know you're talking too much of this god stuff uh you know a few people have said that you know hey you know every time i, I you know you I listen to you talking about God, and I say because you need to hear it. You know that's that's the truth. So the truth to me is 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 when I see someone messing up, that's the fighter in me. You know I'm not going to allow you to just sit back and and think you're living your life the way you're supposed to. I got to say something because God puts it on my heart, and that's you know that's who I listen to. Is it is it tough balancing it? Because I'm sure when people see they see the tats, you know they see that you're. You know, you're, you're working out and stuff like that. So there's there's a lifestyle and thing that those, those signify. Just like you know, there's a lifestyle that I look like. You know, signifies people that say that see you and they go, well, you know what? I'm surprised that that he has faith in Christ and that he's balancing a happy marriage and a good job and and things like that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, people. Yeah, people look at me and and and, and I guess it's a, a testimonial just just to I guess the way I look. My wife always says I look like a criminal. But the, <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, yeah, I could look like a criminal. So, <laughs> Jolene, build me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, it, it 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 works out. You know, it works out good with with you know. God built me this way and, yeah. and made me as actually do these things. I guess I don't know. Maybe I made. You know, I'm proud knows? of you. I mean, I, I I really am. I mean, I see I see the way that uh, I mean, you don't judge anybody. You just love them and 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 you try to help them out. And you're there in places. Where how nobody. successful you really have become. I mean, yeah. you're all over the place, man. I mean, like what? Like oh, haunted choppers. I mean, who knew? Uh, ghosts that ride motorcycles. Yeah. I mean that that's that's just plain strange. But mm. but good television. Well, and, and then there's uh, what, the uh, uh, you know, traveling tattoo guys. That yeah. you, you put all those tattoo artists in the RV and send them around America. They're kind of like uh, bartenders. Everybody. It's amazing what people tell those tattoo artists. I mean that is compelling television. Yeah, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for situations that will provide for compelling watching. Wait a minute. That's why you're here. That's why you're in Pittsburgh. You're, you're looking for ideas for a new show, aren't you? Sure. Oh, well, listen, you may not know this, but uh, I actually uh, own one of the hottest nightclubs in town. It, it, it's called Shenanigans. It's, uh, you, you know, Shenanigans, I mean, we have bartenders, so you got that whole aspect of it, people mm -hmm. telling their secret stories and stuff. And then, you know, we also serve food. So you have a food TV, you know, we are cuisine and stuff like that. And we have lots of great dancing and acts coming in. So you got the whole young MTV crowd, a lot of yeah. hooks. I mean, that yeah. would really make for great, great reality TV, Danny. Sorry, Dirk. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah. But um, I think I already know who I want for my reality show. Oh, really? <laughs> the, the girl's leaving. Not the girl. <laughs> You're kidding, aren't you? Oh, well, actually, uh, that that might be a good idea because I'm I'm Marcus's business partner. Really? Yeah. So Gentlemen, you know, if you want to do something, we have like performing for us again, Glenn Clark and the family. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger I'm traveling through this world of war There ain't no sickness or danger In that bright land I'm headed for And I'm going there to see my 
Trials, my body sleeps in the old churchyard, and I'll drop this cross of self denial and enter on my great reward. And I'm going there to see my father, he says he'll meet. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. And I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world of war. There ain't no sickness, toll, or danger In that bright land I'm headed for And I'm going there to see my father It says he'll meet me when I go And I'm only going Jordan, and I'm only going over home. The lights are wrong, the door is open, the coffee's strong. Hey, thanks for tuning in to His Place. Hey, it must have been like real man of God day here on, on His Place. With Jay and Glenn here. And if you want to find out more about Glenn and the family and, and their music, you can go to our website, hisplace.tv. Or if you want to find more about Jay, you can uh, go to that website as well and find out about him or just stop by Jim's Quick Cash uh, in Belvernon and Charleroi. Tune in the next time when Glenn is back with the family and uh, we're going to talk to Glenn about what in the world's going on with them. See ya.